everybody, Sarah here at the Big Blast Homestead, and today I'm using Tatler lids for the first time. Um, I have never used these before. I usually stick with my tried and true, you know, regular aluminum lids. Doesn't matter what brand, I buy all the brands, it doesn't matter. But I had a hard time finding these this year. So before I got overwhelmed with my garden, because I've canned over 500 jars, uh, and haven't even counted, but we're going to save over 600 by now, but I went ahead and ordered some Tatler lids. Now, this is a single company. It's not owned and, you know, operated the same way that others are. You have to order these. They're not in stores. As far as I know, I've not seen them in stores. But it's a BPA-free plastic lid with a rubber gasket, and it's another way that you can seal your jars, especially if you don't have canning lids. So with the shortages going on, I ordered a few boxes of those to have them on hand in case I needed them. And I'm going to use some now because now I'm thinking I want to keep using these. So if you used them before and you know how they're done, please leave comments below if I do something wrong or let me know what you think or how long you've used them or if you prefer them over regular aluminum lids because, like I said, it's my first time using them. So I'm going to show you what you need to actually use these. I've watched some videos and I have done a lot of just research online. And, yeah, I think I know what I'm doing, so we're going to give it a try. Let's come over and show you what I'm working with. My canner is over here bubbling, so it's a little loud. But this is all the stuff that I'm working with, just like regular canning. My funnel, my debubbler. I've got my tongs to lift them. I do have a pair of regular tongs because these have to be put in boiling water. And you just use your regular bands. You don't need anything special for them. Just a regular band works. I've got my Tatler lids. That's a new box. Um, the rest are in the, the pot over here. I'll show you those. But I've got just some vinegar and a rag or you know paper towel to wipe and of course I've got my canner and you're supposed to boil these you bring them up to a boil and then keep them warm until you go to use them you need to get those gaskets to soften and you need to get the lids really really hot and that back there is my honey solution for my oranges I'm gonna pull out some jars I've had them in hot water clean sterile all of that and we're gonna fill them up and we're gonna go ahead and use these Tatler lids okay all of my jars are hot. You want to make sure you always, when you're canning with a hot solution, have hot jars. And what I've done is I've pulled out a couple varieties here. I've got a regular ball mason. I have an old vintage mason jar. And then I have one of these um, ball harvesty ones that are more modern. I think that's an older one. And sorry, I had to find it. And this is just an Anchor Hawking, which is, you know, the brand that you buy at Walmart. So I'm going to fill these up. Like I said, I'm doing oranges, and we're going to put the lids on, and we're going to see how this works out because, like I said, I've never used them, and it's a nice experience for me. I just want to see how it works. But I wanted to do a variety of jars just to see how they fit. So standard canning, you just fill your jars up, put your solutions in, wipe them down, and put the lids on. So I'm going to get that all ready, and then I'll show you the final process. Okay, so I've filled my jars up, and I've put my hot solution in. Um, these are just honey oranges. If you're interested in the recipe, it'll be in the description. I don't pack the oranges very tightly because they break, and so just my preference, this is how I do it. So if you're going to judge me on the canning, this is just something I do. Please follow a USDA-approved recipe. It even says it on the Tatler boxes. You need to find a headspace and follow USDA recommendations. Very important. So anyway, the difference with these and a ball lid is the ball lid has the gasket built in or any of the other aluminum lids they have a gasket built in the tatlers don't they have a gasket that comes like that separate and a white plastic lid like that so instead of just putting a lid on like this you're putting on two parts like i said it uses a standard ring Nothing special about that. Just be careful. It is going to be hot. And you just screw them on like you would a normal canning jar. Very simple. The only other difference is, is after the process. Most of the time when I can, I just take my jars out and I'm good to go. I can set them on the counter. These aren't very hot, sorry. <clears throat> but I can set them on the counter and I can go from there. The difference is with Tatler lids is you have to retighten the ring to make sure it actually creates that seal. So basically you're forcing it to tighten up even more after it's been boiled and the air's released and it is ready to start to seal. So again, just boil the lids like normal 
and place them on top. You just want to make sure your gaskets fit right and your lids fit on top. And so far it looks like I'm not having any problems fitting any specific jar, which is good. I have a lot of old jars and that was something I was worried about. But it looks like everything is equaling out where it needs to be. And I do have an aluminum ring from the Anchor Hawkings to see if that will actually work as well. So I'm just going to put all the lids on, or put all the bands on, and get those to tighten down and go from there. And we're going to get them in the canner. Okay, it looks like I'm having issues with the Anchor Hawking jar. I don't know if you could see that, but I was spinning this and it's not catching like it's supposed to, so I'm gonna switch this jar out. These are all done, I'm gonna get them in the canner and we're gonna let them process. Okay, so far I'm not having any issues with these whatsoever, except for them not fitting the cheaper jars. Um, that's okay with me, like I said, I've had problems with those and I'm just not gonna use those anymore. But, they're in there and I'm just going to process them like I normally would in a water bath. But for now, I'm just going to drop these in just like normal with canning. Put my lid back on, let it come back to a boil and I'm going to process these and then we'll pull them out and see what they look like. Okay, while the canner's going real quick, I just want to say if you are going to experiment with any type of new canning supply, just try it on something that you can eat immediately something that you can use. Like for instance, with pressure canning, doing it with something like chicken's great, because if it doesn't seal, you can just turn around and make chicken salad, no big deal. Um, these are just oranges. So if they don't work, the kids and I will eat oranges this week. It's not gonna hurt us. But when I first got all my old jars, I experimented with every type of jar that I had to make sure that they worked and that my lids fit correctly and the bands did and everything. And I didn't waste any product because I did it on like pickles. And so with pickles, you just take them and if they don't seal, you put them in your fridge and you wait a week and then you can eat pickles. Then they're nice and flavorful. So don't waste your product. Don't try to do like big elaborate soups and things like that. Do something that you can immediately just use up. You never want to waste your product. That's the worst part. And I would recommend also if you're going to use any type of new stuff, do your research. Like I did. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I did a lot of um, vlog our blog sites, reading what their opinions were, and it's gotten really great reviews. So I definitely wanted to try these, and they are not hard to use at all. So far, I'm really enjoying this. We'll just see how they seal. It's now the next morning. Um, they've sat for almost 24 hours. The jar's completely cool, and I'm going to remove the rings. They're going to be on a little bit tighter because you've had to tighten them down afterwards. But let's see if this was a success, because so far I am loving these lids. I've heard that you can use these for years before you have to replace these gaskets. And on top of that, oh, that one was hard to open. I've heard that, you know, there are people that have used them for up to 10 years. Yeah, I would love to be able to replace the aluminum lids with these if these work out the way that I want. Um... Money-wise, it's going to save a lot and all of that. And then I can not have to worry about shortages. So anyway, after you've taken the rings off, the bands off, you then need to just grab the white piece. Here, I'll do a middle one. And lift it up by it only. Not by the jar, but just the white piece. And see how I can lift that all the way up? That means they sealed. I wouldn't recommend doing it fast just in case. <laughs> like if you lifted them too fast, you might drop the jar and it splatter and break everywhere. But yeah, look at that. Success. Every single one of them is sealed. I love these. I highly recommend them if you're going to try them out. I do not have an affiliate link or anything, but they're called Tatler Easy Seal Lids, and they were very inexpensive, and you can buy the kit, which has the lids and the uh, gaskets in there, or you can buy the separates. These are wonderful. I actually think I'm going to go order some more today. Uh, absolutely love them. So I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this because I wanted to share it. Something different in case you have shortages. And I'm going to leave these sitting on the shelf. And as you can see, every different type of jar sealed. And all the different bands worked. So not worried about it. It's just a universal sealing. 
So I hope it helps you guys. And yeah, enjoy your Tatler lids because I absolutely love them. See you guys in the next one. Bye.